My daughter, husband, and I have been living in this adorable tri-level for about seven years now in Virginia. And I will say that I started out hoarding this house as much as possible, trying to fill it as quickly as I could. But over the past four or five years now, I have been very intentionally decluttering it. And we are where we are now. I thought we'd do a fun tour, starting right in my living room, talking about what I do own and hopefully giving you some ideas on how you can declutter your own. What I really wanted in my living room was to have a space that felt easy to clean, but also just open and fresh and beautiful. So I love to bring in plants and I have several around my house that are my favorites, but I also really like the look of wood. So while our hardwood floors are beautiful in their own, I also wanted to add these wooden shelves which I know we all have our opinions on them, but I really like them the way they are. One of my favorite things about this living room is this behind the couch table. Not only did my husband make it himself, and so it's exactly what I wanted dimension wise, but also what I found is that when it comes to furniture pieces, the only ones that I bring in now, pieces that I think are functional, but also beautiful. So the couch that my grandma gifted me for my birthday a couple years ago is just what I wanted. It's high up off the ground, and so it's easy to clean under. The other great thing about this room are the big bay windows. We are so lucky to have these massive windows that bring in tons of natural light. So I never wanted to cover them up with really heavy curtains. When I walk right in the door, I knew that we needed function. So I made sure to put a keychain holder that also has a place that we can put our excess mail. And then on the little shelf that is right near our door, I also put a bowl to throw in things like sunglasses and my headphones. While you're going through your entryway, make sure that you have enough places for your clutter. So things like my daughter's book bag and my purse, I wanted to be obvious where to put them and easy to access. No home feels complete to me unless you have a decluttering basket. And that's exactly what this small basket is right near our door. And as you can see, it already has a bag that's ready to go. As we turn and go into my dining room, it's pretty dramatic. I painted it this color back years ago when we first moved in and I still really like it. On the walls, I have a few of my favorite pieces. One of them is from my grandfather before he passed away. And the other one is this beautiful sunburst mirror. We are looking for some new chairs to go in our dining room because the ones we have were found on the side of the road and they are not holding up well, but they were free, so I guess we can't complain. As you turn into our kitchen, I would love for this kitchen to be open floor plan right into the living room, but it's one of those things that it would cost a lot of money and a lot of hassle, so we just haven't gotten to it yet but the countertops and the sink have been replaced. And I love our new cooktop that's just extremely simple for us to clean with a little soap and water. Though I don't love our black refrigerator, it is so easy to keep clean and you don't constantly have to see fingerprints. The kitchen is pretty simple. We unfortunately don't have any kind of pantry. And so the little cabinets on the side do hold all of our food, which, which in turn actually is probably helpful because there is no place for our food to go hide and we forget to eat it. Everything is right there in the open in these little baskets that I've put and labeled. So it's easy to know when we need to go to the grocery store again. Before we leave this floor, I wanted to show you my entryway closet. Now there's not a lot of pizzazz going on in this closet. It's extremely functional. There's a little bench that we can sit on to put our shoes on when necessary. And underneath the bench, I have three small shoe containers one for me, one for my daughter, and one for my husband. I love these containers because they're so easy to clean and they're actually the perfect size. Keeps us in check and so we're not just over buying shoes just because. And then my husband took out the rod that had hangers because the hangers just got very frustrating trying to keep our coats on them and not have them fall off. So instead we opted for some hooks that I think are very beautiful but also extremely functional again. Then looking up, we have two more baskets one of them holds most of the things for our outdoor activities. We also have a few games we keep in here for easy access. And then the other basket is great for just our hats and gloves. Let's go ahead and travel downstairs. As you can see, it's basically just one big sitting room that we also use as our office. Our office is usually semi-cluttered throughout the day just from me working at it all day and my husband at night. We have a TV down here. This is where we'll do movie nights or game nights. And then onto the side, we have a small bathroom that my husband 
a couple years ago, updated, which is beautiful. Town here used to be a really ugly brown bathroom that was just all different shades of brown. So I'm so grateful that he was able to get this done. And then finally on the side, you can see this is just a utility room. My husband's tools are often in here. And then things like the laundry also are down here. I will say the best thing we put in this laundry room is just this very simple shelf. It's amazing what having a little bit of storage does in a space that used to feel so cluttered. As we head back up the stairs, you'll see that our top floor, we have three bedrooms and one more bathroom. This bathroom is obviously dated and it is from the 1960s, but I actually really like the tile. It is this happy blue turquoisey kind of color, so we haven't done anything with it. But the bathtub and the sink, I would love to replace at some point down the road. Because this bathroom and the closet that's attached to it is pretty small, we need to keep things very simple. So in the bathroom closet, I have several different homes that I keep for things like medicine and our towels and rags. And while I used to feel like every linen closet had to be full to the brim in order to be a well-run house, I have found that having a few rags and one towel each a few extra just for my daughter and the dogs is all I really need. We don't have a medicine cabinet up here, so instead we, we do have another little white container that we use as our medicine cabinet and it works great. Inside of the basket, what I will say to do is get a bigger basket and then get smaller baskets inside to hold your smaller stuff so everything isn't just roaming around all the time. It's like you're creating a drawer even though you don't have one. If you go right under our sink, you'll see that we have some more storage down there where is basically I just keep our cleaning supplies and our small trash can so that the dogs don't get into it. And then just a few extra things like perfume and lotions that we use throughout the week. In the two drawers on the side, one of them is dedicated for my stuff like my makeup, but also our toothbrushes. We put them inside of the drawer just so that the countertop can stay very visually clear and then the other drawer is dedicated just for my husband's stuff then if we head back out you'll see my daughter's room is the first one we come to because my brother recently moved out we were able to take all of her toys back out of her room and i will show you where we put them now but in her room it's very simple we have a few pieces of artwork up that she's done or my nieces have done and then we have some simple shelves for books and then in her closet, we will store some clothes for the following season, but I try not to keep too much. Create a home for those kind of items and don't explode out of them. Know that this is all you are able to keep if it fits in that spot. As far as keepsakes I have for Carrie Ann, I have one small container that I keep for everything from zero to four years old. And then now I have something that I keep for all of her school years. It's in a kind of binder that I actually think I just got from Michael's. The next room next to my daughter's is our room. And like I said, with my daughter's room as well, I like to keep things very simple. When it's a place that you sleep, the simpler it is, the easier it is for me to fall asleep, to stay asleep. And if I do happen to wake up, to go back to sleep very easily. When I had a lot of decor around, a lot of knickknacks around, a lot of pictures around and TVs, I had a really hard time falling asleep quickly or being easily distracted by those things that I saw. So if you are like me and you're having a hard time falling asleep, staying asleep, then simplifying your room as much as possible is going to help you to fall asleep a lot easier. As you can see, I actually don't have any decor up at all besides this one beautiful mirror that my husband actually built the casing on the outside. Besides that, I like to just have a plant and keep it very simple. I don't wanna have to be thinking about what I need to clean in the morning while I'm trying to sleep. In our closet, we've redone this closet in particular. I used to just have one long bar for everything in the middle, and I just found that it wasn't functioning the way that we needed to. And so what we did is we just got a big piece of wood, my husband cut it down, we got more brackets from Amazon, and they've done an amazing job just having some extra shelves. I didn't wanna have to have a dresser anymore because this is a smaller size room, not tiny, but smaller. And the dresser we had just took up so much space and I found that I was always having to dust it. Then you can see on either side, we actually have two bars each, which is actually more storage than we even need. And another thing that I definitely suggest that we do as well in our closet is to have all matching hangers. I just find that no, it isn't necessary, but I do feel like having all of the same hangers 
does make the closet look instantly more appealing. Then finally, in the last room in our house, we have this playroom slash office area that my daughter often does her crafts in. And while it is extremely simple, I feel like there is definitely a beauty to this room. It's amazing to me that while I used to think simplicity of decor was a turn off, now that I find the simplicity to be so refreshing. In the closet, I have created some storage just from what we happen to have around the house. And that's where now we have labeled her toys and some of our extra coats in that closet because it is spring right now where I live. And so I didn't wanna have the coat clutter downstairs. If you have enjoyed this little tour of my house, then please remember to subscribe. And of course, if you are on a decluttering journey as well, throw a heart emoji down below to let us know that we are all in this together. I'll see you guys again soon.